There are a ton of Mario power-ups. I've even made videos in the past about these little bundles of joy. But ranking all of them is a whole different level. This list will include power-ups from all the main 2D and 3D Mario games. I won't be counting the power-ups from spin-offs like Paper Mario or the Mario & Luigi RPGs, as well as Yoshi besides his appearance in Mario 64 DS since you can control him, and the captures from Mario Odyssey won't count either. Defining a power-up was surprisingly hard to do because the idea of one ranges in a large spectrum, but I decided that if it attaches to your body and it changes you, that counts. So that means no pow blocks or potted piranha plants, but things like a blue shell or cape feather will count. And with all that said, let's get her ranked. 64, Rotten Mushroom. This is a power-up that literally hurts you. If you're small Mario, you'll just straight up die. And worse, it chases you around and can climb up walls. That's just cruel, man. 63, Poison Mushroom. It's basically the Rotten Mushroom, but it doesn't chase you around. However, in the older games, it looks kind of similar to the normal mushroom, so you do need to pay close attention. 62, Goomba Mask. You run around with a Goomba mask so Goombas don't recognize you. It's honestly pretty useless seeing how easy it is to squish Goombas to begin with. Plus, you can't get rid of it unless you get hit. 61, Spin Drill. You'll use this to dig through the dirt quickly, but it has no other use beyond that. It exists to be a fun level gimmick, and that's about it. 60, Mini Mushroom. You shrink way down in size and can go through tiny pathways, walk on water, and even up walls in the newer titles. However, you're really vulnerable to pretty much every enemy. Most of them require a ground pound to knock out. Like the Spin Drill, it's just a gimmick to find secret areas and levels. 59, Gold Block. A brick block somehow goes through your head and you can collect a bunch of coins with it. I guess if you want to get 1-ups quickly that can be useful, but for the most part it just doesn't have much of a reason to exist. 58, Yoshi Power Flower. Even though I said Yoshi doesn't count, he's technically a character in Mario 64 DS, and the Power Flower gives him the ability to breathe fire. While that's useful for things like melting ice blocks, really it's just slower than eating enemies and turning them into aches. 57, Light Box. This helps you see through dark areas and can poof away booze if you point the light at one long enough. It's okay, but really only useful for these specific circumstances. 56, Ice Skate. You hop into one giant skate and can move across the ice slightly easier and faster. The big issue is you can't slow down at all and you'll lose the skate when you run into something like a wall. 55, Frog Suit. This one is infamous for being horrible, and it kind of is on land since hopping around is extremely awkward and slow. But swimming with this on is pretty fantastic. You move a lot faster and just more fluidly. 54, Super Mushroom. It feels weird to have this one so low on the list, but all it does is make you grow in size and you can take an extra hit. You can also break through most blocks, but it doesn't do much beyond that. 53, Weird Mushroom. It's basically the Super Mushroom, but now you have a slightly better jump and you look pretty lanky. 52, Boo Mushroom. You go temporarily invisible and float through certain walls. However, you move really slowly and you'll lose your form if another boo or light touches you. 51, Vanish Cap. It's really similar to the Boo Mushroom as you can pass through certain walls for a short period. However, this cap lets you keep all of Mario's moves, deeming him much more useful. 50, Metal Cap. With this, you can walk on water and you're invincible. It sounds pretty great, and it is, but the Metal Cap only lasts for a brief period of time, which really nerfs its potential. 49, Spring Mushroom. You can spring yourself high into the air with a well-timed jump. You can even climb up walls with this thing, but just moving around is annoying and you can't attack either besides ground pounding. 48, Hammer Suit. You can throw hammers just like a hammer bro. It's definitely cool, but a bit hard to aim with since the hammers arch up. 47, Super Ball Flower. A fireball that bounces all over the place. It's really hard to use properly and you can only throw one at a time, but it's a unique inclusion and even made its way into Super Mario Maker 2 somehow. 46, Boomerang Flower. You throw one boomerang at a time and it can hit multiple enemies at once. While that's cool and all, it is a little tricky to aim with. 45, Power Balloon. Mario puffs up and can float for a little bit. While you can gain a good amount of height, you're really vulnerable in this state and move slowly, so it's not the most practical flying item. 
44, Rock Mushroom. You turn into a giant rock to launch yourself forward and can destroy most things in your path. It's a little hard to control, but you're able to break giant structures that you normally wouldn't be able to. 43, Double Cherry. For those that dreamed of controlling several Tanuki Rosalinas, the Double Cherry fills that niche just for you. This can be incredibly useful with the right power-ups attached, but it's also a chore trying to control multiple characters at once. 42, Galaxy's Fire Flower. So yes, this is the classic Fire Flower, but I'm counting it as a different power-up for one big reason. It can only be used for a temporary amount of time, which really sucks. Plus, they're harder to aim with since you're in a 3D space. 41, Galaxy's Ice Flower. This is slightly better than the Galaxy's Fire Flower because you can run across frigid water. You still have that pesky timer to worry about though, and you can't even throw ice balls, which is a bit odd. 40, Green Shell. This is a weird one to add, but by running with it in Mario 3D World, Mario goes inside the shell and can go to town on enemies. And you can kind of control what direction you go in, but it's hard to keep the momentum going. 39, Buzzy Beetle Shell. You wear the shell of a deceased beetle on your head, and it protects you from enemies, like Thwomps as an example. This shell only comes off when you get hit by something. 38, Spiny Shell. It's basically the Buzzy Beetle Shell, but now you can destroy blocks and enemies from above, which in general is more useful. 37, Cannon Box. Wearing this, you'll fire cannonballs continuously. You can also charge up for a stronger cannonball. This is another power-up that can't be taken off until you get hit. 36, Bee Mushroom. One of the most out there ideas for a power-up. As a bee, you can fly temporarily and climb up honey walls. The issue with this is that you can't touch the water or an enemy or you'll straight up lose the suit. 35, Blue Shell. You ride around in a blue Koopa shell. It's really fun to use, but a little hard to control. Like the green shell, it's good for destroying enemies in certain blocks, and on top of that, it makes swimming easier and more precise. 34, Dry Bone Shell. Lava is no longer deadly, as Mario can literally float above it and be just dandy. Plus, you can play dead and be temporarily invincible. I'm not sure how Mario transforms into Dry Bones, but hey, I'll take it. 33, Koopa Troopa Car. You literally drive a car and can run over enemies. It's a lot of fun to use, but the car can get destroyed from walls or some objects after three hits. And turning around pits Mario at a stop for a second, so it takes some time getting used to. 32, 3D Fire Flower. This is exactly the same as Galaxy's Fire Flower, but there's no timer on its use. Hitting enemies with fireballs is still a little clunky in 3D, but it works. 31, Super Hammer. You become Builder Mario and can whack enemies and blocks with a mighty hammer. This hammer can actually break blocks that you normally wouldn't be able to, and Mario can build boxes out of thin air that you can use to go across lava if need be. 30, Big Mushroom. As the name implies, you grow really big and can squish most enemies and objects besides note blocks. With that said though, you can still take damage from enemies. 29, 2D Fire Flower. We've finally gotten to the original power-up. You throw multiple fireballs and it kills most enemies in one shot or a few shots. The Fire Flower just works wonders in a 2D plane. 28, Ice Flower. Similar to the Fire Flower, except you throw ice balls that can freeze enemies in place. Even better, the ice blocks can be used as another attack. 27, Penguin Suit. This makes the Ice Flower null. You can throw ice balls as well as slide on your tummy and defeat enemies, plus it makes swimming way faster and more accurate. 26, Gold Flower. When a gold ball collides with an enemy or certain objects, everything bursts into coins. While the coins aren't that useful, the blast rate is way better than a regular fire flower. 25, Super Bell. You'll turn into a cat and can climb up walls and attack with your claws. It's extremely useful for navigating and attacking enemies. 24, Lucky Bell. It's the Super Bell, but now you can also transform into a statue or Lucky Cat Mario. 23, Goomba Shoe. You hop around in a giant shoe and are invulnerable to usually deadly enemies like munchers. If you use the big shoe from Mario Maker, you can ground pound and cause a shock wave which kills enemies. 22, Lekitu's Cloud. You have to defeat a Lekitu for this first, but it grants Mario flight for a short period of time. It's a really nice way to skip across giant chunks of a level. 21, Propeller Box. Pick this up and you can fly higher in the air. You can't do much more than that, but the extended jump is really useful and it lasts until you get hit by something. 20, 3D Super Leaf. The Super Leaf in the 3D Marios has one big difference the 2D Marios doesn't, and that's the inability to fly. You can still float slowly and attack though, which are extremely beneficial abilities. 
19. Statue Leaf It's exactly like the 3D Super Leaf, but by ground pounding, you turn into a statue. 18. Mega Mushroom You grow into a big, big boy and destroy everything in your path. You're also given 1-ups if you get enough points. The only downside is that it's a temporary power-up. 17. Wing Cap You can fly around temporarily and get across massive sections of a level. The flying is a little awkward though, since keeping your speed up takes some time getting used to. 16. Red Star It's basically the Wing Cap, but it's a lot easier to fly with. Although it's not really utilized in Mario Galaxy, the power-up in general is better. 15. Propeller Mushroom This is very similar to the propeller box, but it's not attached to your head anymore. Plus, you can drill back down into the ground as an additional attack. 14. Cloud Flower Mario can create three cloud platforms to greatly increase his horizontal or vertical jumps. Regular jumps are more floaty too, making him even better. This can be a pretty broken power-up in some levels. 13. Super Acorn You slowly glide downwards and can add an additional jump as well. It's a weird way to fly around, but it's definitely helpful. 12. 2D Super Leaf By building up a bit of speed, you can fly to great heights and slowly fall down. Plus, your tail is a nice weapon that you can spam to get quick kills. 11. Tanuki Suit It's the same thing as the Super Leaf, but you can transform into a statue which lets you hide from enemies, so it's slightly better. 10. Super Crown Probably the most transformative Mario power-up. You literally turn into another character, Peachette. Peachette can double jump, float just like the Super Acorn, and even get automatically boosted before falling into a pit. 9. Carrot You can fly through the air infinitely if the button is mashed fast enough, or you'll slowly fall down. With the carrot, you could skip entire levels. That's how ridiculous this one is. 8. Stars You're granted temporary invincibility to every and all enemies. Now, obviously it's amazing, but your moveset isn't really enhanced besides running a bit faster. 7. Cape Feather With your trusty cape, you'll glide through the air and can continue to fly forward or pick up speed to descend. If used right, it's extremely useful, and you can attack enemies with the cape too. 6. Koopa Clown Car You fly in Bowser's vehicle for as long as you want, and it can still attack enemies like normal. It's the ultimate flying machine. 5. Fire Koopa Clown Car You know what, I take that back. This is the ultimate flying machine. On top of unlimited flight, now you can shoot fireballs and even charge them up. 4. P.A. Corn You can basically fly for as long as you want, and at faster speeds than the clown cars. While you are susceptible to taking damage, it doesn't usually matter when you're able to breeze through an entire level. 3. P-Wing It's very similar to the P.A. Corn, but the flying is slightly easier. Plus, you can still attack enemies. 2. 3D Invincibility Leaf Not only can you float around and have a better jump, but you're completely invincible for an entire level. It's like having stars that don't go away, and your jumping is dramatically improved. And 1. 2D Invincibility Leaf It's slightly better than the 3D one because you can actually fly for a bit. It doesn't last for forever like the P-Wing, but the meter charges up so fast that you practically do fly for forever. This list was stupidly hard to make. It was quite the challenge trying to piece together all the power-ups and how useful they are in their own environments, but with that said, let me know what you think the best and worst power-ups are down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Until next time.